rational function. All right. So I get you a rational function. It's rational because it has a polynomial divided by a polynomial. This is an easy one because they're both binomial. All right. This is pretty much factored. If I want, I could factor it this way, pull out the multiple, All right? Because if I factor first, then everything else goes a little bit faster. Step one is usually fast. I just did that in red. Step two is identify the domain and the asymptote and the zero. And I like the y intercept. So I'm going to do all of that now. So we start by saying, hey, domain. Domain of this function is easy. It's irrational. It's all numbers except what makes the bottom zero. Right? So I know it exists everywhere on the graph I have over here on the left except at one. And this is called the asymptote. This is a vertical action point. I know that there is nothing on that dotted line. Okay. I also know that there's a zero because I factored out the coefficient three. There's a zero at two thirds. Right? If I plug two thirds, I get zero. So I'm going to use a red pen for this. And I'm going to put two thirds zero Ooh. right there. All right, right next to the asymptote, but there it is. Okay. And finally, I like to find the y-intercept because it's just easy. So if I change this to f of x instead of y equals, I want to know f of 0. And I go back to the original blue function up here to find that. If I do that, plug in 0, do you guys agree I get 2? All right, so I'm going to plot, plot that point. And that's all in the black. And that black resulted in the black dashed line and the two red dots. Okay? And actually, this gives us quite a bit of information. If I group this all, I want to shrink it down. So now I have the factored function. I have found the domain, the zero, the y-intercept. And I have actually plotted those things on the graph. Now, we know with rational functions, there's not only vertical asymptotes, there are horizontal asymptotes. Now, there are hard and fast rules you'll figure out, but I like to talk about the same way every single time. I come from the blue function, and I always picture putting in a very big number, graphs. In fact, put in a number that is approaching infinity. Go way out the x axis, you know, well beyond everything. And we talked last week about, you know, think of a number like a million. If I plug a million in for x, Three times a million is three million. Do we care about minus two? No. And on the bottom, take a million minus one. Do we care about the minus one? No. So all of a sudden, if you don't care about the trailing things or the things that have a lower order, you know that three, what do you get? Three times a million over, the, over a million is just three. So as you go out to infinity, all right, in this case, the horizontal asymptote, all right, the dotted line horizontally approaches, okay, happens at y equals 3. So I'll put my black pen, and I'll dot that line right here. All right. I now have the ability to start sketching stuff. And again, any time you have asymptotes, it either has to be here or here, out here. It either has to be here or here on the horizontal out here. We have to figure out where. Okay? On the vertical, it either has to be here or here or here or here. Okay? I'm going to erase all those purples and we're going to make our sign table and try to find out where they are. All right? So we're to the point now. We've defined step one, factor. Step two, step factor. Step two, domain, zeros, y intercept. Step three, figure out the horizontal axis. Or asymptotes, okay? Step four is a big sign table. All right, so we're going to make a sign table of all of this. So I'm going to do that in red. And go to. And my values I have to use for x have to be my asymptotes and zeros. My asymptote is one, my zero is two thirds. Wow, is that a small window in between, isn't it? And two thirds was a zero. One was an undie. Okay. So, and then I say, oh, well, what other things do I need in my sign table today? Well, I need both 
I mean, x minus two thirds. Yeah, or you could write three x minus two. All right, but I'd rather use my factors one. It makes the math easier for me in my head personally. And x minus one. All right, big negative number. Negative minus negative negative. Minus. I think this is negative negative, which makes the result over here positive. All right, so it's got to go through these points, and it has to be positive. All right, guys, right, that means it has to look like this. So it has to hit this point. But it's above the, it's below the asymptote, as far as I want to, above the x axis. I am guessing to the left of two thirds. You can see it starting to curve down, right? This had better be negative in here. So two thirds is point six six, right? And one. I think of point eight. Negative or positive? Negative. Negative. So it has to be right here, coming to this asymptote through zero. Ooh, wow. I probably can do a little better than that. There. Alright. And that's because the result here is negative. It had to be down here. Okay? Well, that leaves me one thing. Figure on the other side. Think of a po I think of a million. A million minus two thirds positive. A million minus one positive. Two positives make up positive. That means it has to be here. And it means it's going to come down to oh, here. And there is our graph. We just did a rational function. This is the method using the sign table. Okay? We calculated it, four steps, and we took the values of the sign and we did that. The other method, which the textbook doesn't do and not many people do, is you can always polynomial divide. Guys, I come back to the very beginning. I can take x minus 1 into 3x minus 2. The first is 3. Then I get 3x minus 3, change the sign, I get 1. So I can write f of x equals, and I'll flip the order down here, 1 over x minus 1 plus 3. Huh. This would have been a lot easier this time than a sign table method. Alright, I'm going to take this to another, I'm going to go to a page and take that function over to another page. So I have f of x equals 1 over x minus 1 plus 3. Well, one of the things I've asked you to memorize, right, is the reciprocal function, which is just 1 over x. This is one of our parent functions. We know it has a vertical asymptote at 0. We know it approaches 0 at horizontally. We'll take a look at what we have up here. What does it tell you to do? This tells you to shift to the right one. This tells you to shift it up. Three. Put the curve I have over there. If I can do this over one, up three, or the red curves are the same entity. Nope, they're not. And there's that class. I think polynomial division sometimes is a much faster method for graph. The sign table always works. And we're going to keep doing sign table. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.